Hey, so I'm Neil Trevitt. I'm VP of Mobile Content at NVIDIA. And we're here in C at CES in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're here at the AT&T Developer Conference. So we're interacting with a bunch of developers here developing for AT&T devices. So talk about a little about um, what you're doing for the Tegra devices and the Tegra 4. So NVIDIA, we have uh, a suite of advanced tools for developers to really optimize and profile and get the best performance out of Tegra for their games and their apps. So um, when you're developing a high performance app, like a game for a mobile device, you have to get you know, every ounce of horsepower out of the silicon. And so you know, all the tools that you can provide to developers you know, can really add value to get that last piece of performance and to bring the uh, battery consumption down so you know, people's batteries last uh, longer. So inside a device like a Tegra, there's CPUs, there's GPUs, and they all have to work in perfect harmony you know, for a really compelling gaming experience. And so we have a, a tools that let you look at how the CPUs are performing, how they're interacting with the GPUs, how the graphics pipeline is being um, driven from the app to make sure that all of the you know, graphical operations are not hit, hitting bottlenecks. And the, really, the, the, really the key to a good you know, gaming performance on, on a mobile app is to make sure there are no key bottlenecks in the system. So we have tools to let developers really peer inside their app to figure out and understand what's going on. And what are some of the challenges in giving developers these tools to work with Tegra? Well, we've made that process extremely easy. Uh, in fact, even if you're not developing for Tegra, the work that we've done for developing an Android app or a game, you can go to the Tegra site, the developer site at nvidia.com, download our Tegra SDK pack, and you will get an easy install of all of the tools and the infrastructure that you need to develop Android games and apps really easily. And so the other big thing that uh, happened here at CES um, early on is that NVIDIA had a press conference uh, on Sunday night, and we announced uh, a bunch of cool stuff uh, for mobile developers. We have Tegra 4, which is the new generation Tegra, uh, a significant boost in performance uh, compared to even the Tegra 3. So uh, Tegra 3 was a quad core, but quad A9. Now we boosted that to quad A15, the very latest generation of ARM processor. Now we have four of them, plus the, the power saving fifth core. Um, and on the GPU side, we've boosted the number of pipes in the GPU up to 72. So that's over 10 times the GPU performance compared to Tegra 3. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a huge boost in performance for games and apps. And you guys also uh, added a new LTE like modem in the Tegra 4 as well. That's right. We've um, NVIDIA acquired a company called Iocera um, a little while ago, and this is the first fruits of that um, acquisition. And that i500 is a programmable LTE modem device. So we can deliver the very best LTE performance, and we can quickly track new developments in mobile standards and uh, ship uh, the very best in modem technology to market very quickly. Thank you.